Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Cooper and I'm here to present a short synopsis on the case study entitled, Should He Be Fired For That? So, in the very beginning of the case, it was brought to the attention of Dell, the president of Down City Motors, who owned Mercedes, BMW, and Range Rover, that one of his top salesmen, James, had apparently bad mouthed one of their up and coming events on social media. So he decides to take this to Susie. Susie is his daughter and the next and upcoming president and says, hey, I want this guy fired. And so Susie's faced with the option whether or not to keep him or fire him. So the event was the Mercedes rollout event. And Mercedes are high class vehicles and the upper management had decided to have plastic tablecloths and sell, I mean, have sodas there. And so this didn't really sit well with James, their top salesman. He's like, how am I supposed to sell anything if we're not presenting well? He said we need more high class tents and high class food. So he goes to upper management and complains, but upper management kind of drops the ball and doesn't really take it into account and just kind of ignores it. So he decides on his own time to post a picture outside Down City Motors of him in a soda and just said, hey, down here and kind of bashed the upcoming event just with a little hint of sarcasm. So it wasn't too bad on that, but this was not his first offense. So the policy that had not been updated to cover social media states that no one should be disrespectful or say anything negative or anything that may injure the company's reputation or image. So he's kind of in violation of that, but since it hasn't been updated, he kind of has a little bit of leeway they might be able to give him. So, Susie is charged with firing him, but she has three options here. She can either fire him, keep him, or suspend him without pay. So, if she decided to fire the reasons to fire him would be he did, in fact, post kind of negatively towards the event and may have harmed the event's image or whatnot, costing a company a little bit of money, maybe. But, and then also, this is not his first post. He also bashed upper management a little bit because he shows up before the mechanics do and it didn't really sit well with him and he kind of thinks he knows everything, I guess. So they can also ex set an example of him if they fired him and show to other employees, hey, we're not messing around. Don't be posting stuff on social media. And that would probably stop all the posting about the company. But they could also prevent this from happening again by firing him because he couldn't really he'd be on his own posting about it. And he couldn't harm the company, really. Or they could keep him because he is the best in sales, by far. He's kind of an intangible asset, if you ask me. He is their best salesman, and it's going to be really hard to replace, and it's going to hurt the company trying to replace him. He also... Also, the policy hadn't been updated, really. It, it didn't really cover social media, so that little bit of leeway could give you a reason to keep him. Also, he tried to voice his opinion to the upper management, and they kind of just ignored him and made it kind of blew him off. And so they could also, I mean, if they fired him, he could say anything about them and he could bash them even more on his social media and he still does have all those followers that are tied into the company so that's not good and that could pose a real-time threat to the company itself and 
he only used a little bit of sarcasm, which I know it's still kind of posted negatively, but he did technically promote the event, which could be used positively, but it may still have cost him money. So they also could lose potential customers because he is their top salesman. He's built relations with a lot of people in a lot of places. And even the people he hasn't met, he's really good at selling cars. So you could lose a lot of potential customers or past customers by firing him, which is another reason to keep him. Also, you would be avoiding a lawsuit. And avoiding a lawsuit would be save a lot of time and give you reason to focus on selling cars rather than spending money on lawyers. And if you decided to suspend him without pay, he could still sue, so it's a little dangerous of a move, but he may not, he may just accept his punishment. So Susie is faced with that decision on whether or not to fire him. Personally, I think that she should keep him because he is that kind of Superman that they have at the office that gets it done and they would be really hurting the company by getting rid of him and they need to just update their policy and maybe give him one more chance. But I do understand that James is kind of a narcissist if you're talking about the dark triad of personality and he does think he's better than everyone else because he keeps thinking that he needs to voice his opinion even when they don't think he should. Although I think he's right that he's still a narcissist but this could be used to maybe help sell cars because he wants his opinion heard and sometimes he's probably right. Like this time I think he was right about plastic tablecloths. And that's all I have so thank you.